How's it going guys, this is Twister and today we have a brand new GTA 5 online DLC pack and it is the uh, the much rumoured Independence Day special. Now, similar to the hipster update, um, this was not actually confirmed at all by Rockstar, however it was rumoured for a long time and it does turn out to be legit. So here we go, we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to cover everything, um, or hopefully everything, hopefully I don't miss anything out. Um, that this update has for you guys so stay tuned and we'll get right into the video alright guys we are back in game and I'm gonna get straight into it I'm gonna try and cover as much of this as possible and I'm hearing that we have got two new vehicles so apparently one there it is so basically we have a monster truck this looks like the sand king on steroids to be honest um, but look at that price tag though 742k I mean I'm guessing that that's probably the date for um for 4th of July you know 7 uh, for 2014 I'm guessing looks uh, looks like it but yeah that is pretty expensive um doesn't look like you'll be able to customize it obviously with the size of it you probably can't even take it into the uh, into the customs itself but um yeah that does look like it's going to be uh, something crazy probably uh, probably an off-road vehicle but yeah that'd be crazy to drive just going down the street and uh, and just destroying every pedestrian car on the game that'll be uh, that'll be pretty amazing um let's check legendary motorsport see if there's anything here uh doesn't look like it it uh, doesn't look like there's anything there so i'm guessing uh, the next bicycle yeah there it is uh, the western sovereign so um let's see what this says it's an iconic american image a cop in sunglasses and unnecessary tight pants cruising down a dusty freeway on a sovereign motorbike pulling over female drivers offering them two ways to pay their ticket um, so there we go. That looks like a pretty nice motorbike. Obviously, um, the whole thing fits in with the um, the American patriotic Fourth of July um, Independence Day theme. So that looks pretty nice. Hopefully, you can customize that pretty nicely. Um, not too expensive either. Not compared to like other cars uh, or bikes that we've ever. Mind you, it is um, it is more expensive than the Dinka Thrust. So hopefully, I'll be able to fully upgrade that for you guys. Be sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you are enjoying this video and you definitely want to stay tuned. Um, for my uh, for other uh, Independence Day DLC videos, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the for those future DLC videos. Right, so there we go. Those are, as far as I'm aware, the two vehicles. And now we're going to explore the rest of the DLC, and I'll get back to you guys when we found something new. All right, guys, we are here in the ammunition store to uh, check out what new weapons we have. And here, oh wow. Oh wow, so we have a firework launcher. That is pretty crazy. 57 grand. Oh damn. Alright, I'm gonna I'm not gonna buy that one yet. In fact, shall I YOLO it? Shall I YOLO it? Go on guys, I'll YOLO it. 50 uh 57 grand uh, to YOLO that. I'll just buy that as well, just for the for the laugh. And we have fireworks and the firework launcher, so that's pretty crazy. Alright, so those are the uh, new weapons supposedly. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna test them, see what they like. So, um, where's the firework launcher? Here we go. I'm guessing we just shoot it up in the air, right? Oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. Oh, you'd never, you'd, you'd just never expect anything like that. Firework display. Oh, this is amazing. I could have so much fun with this. All right, let's check out the um, what? Where's the um, where's the fireworks thingy? All right, here's the musket. Let's test this out. Oh, the reload times. The reload times. All right, let's get this guy. Dude, this thing is crazy. Oh, where, where's our, where are the fireworks? All right, then, guys. So it appears you have to uh, click on it and then choose whichever fireworks you want. So we'll get, we'll get a red fountain just for the sake of demonstration. Let's take it outside. All right, so to access the fireworks, you have to go onto the back menu, go on inventory, go on fireworks, and oh, you can set a timer. All right, so we'll set it on five seconds. Actually, no, we'll set it on three seconds. We got our we got our red, and we'll place it, and then we'll run away as as fast as we can. All right, so I guess to uh, to set them off, you gotta hit play. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that's quite doody. That was quite nifty. I wonder what happens when you run into it. Ah, oh, I just missed it. All right, so those are the fireworks. I've got, I've got none left on there. But that 
57 grand that's uh, that is pretty expensive but anyway it's all in good fun and the fireworks thing is um is a pretty nice touch so uh, let's see what else we have in this update all right guys so we have some new outfits we have the stars the spangled where i don't appear to have any arms i'm not sure if that's a bug or oh gosh yeah i think this is a uh, pretty buggy so we got the stars the spangled the stripes i'm i'm not sure oh wait no that looks pretty legit the soaring eagle and the old glory i'm not sure if if these are showing up correctly um it does look that one looks uh, that one looks fine but i think these are a bit glitchy you guys are gonna have to let me know um so those are those new outfits all right so it also appears that there are these new tail coats but again they don't seem to be loading not sure if that's just a glitch or a bug or anything hopefully rockstar can uh can sort these ones out but yeah um i'll try and get an image if i can if they've been fixed and show you and uh, show you these tail coats but for now it looks like they are pretty glitched out all right once again um we have new masks but it doesn't look like these are able to load in so i'm going to exit my game and uh, and rejoin gt online and hopefully they have been fixed so i'm going to do that quickly i'll be back you i'll be back with you guys in a second all right so i have exited and joined back and it does look like the clothes are still bugged so um yeah not really much i can do about that i really do apologize that i obviously can't show you guys this stuff um but i guess we'll just have to crack on all right so it doesn't look like there's any new animations unfortunately but i have also um I'm also hearing that they have added a uh, new apartment so we'll check on uh, on this website and see what the new ones are alright so alright so these are all the new ones we've got we've got 175 grand uh, six car garage we've got 165 grand six car garage 155 grand six car garage 143 grand six car garage 121 grand two car, two car garage 120 grand two car garage 118 grand two car garage so these all look kind of like um they look like r rural locations for the most part so yeah those look pretty cool obviously something new so if you guys just want want a little apartment uh, somewhere to yourself um i guess you can uh, you can go and have that so they're the new apartments um and let's see what else this update has all right so i've just been checking out los santos customs and we have a brand new tire smoke called the patriot tire smoke um, I'm just gonna test it on a bike. I'm gonna take a car in to the customs afterwards because obviously cars have different upgrades and I'll see if there's any different upgrades for cars. But here's the new tire smoke. Let's test it out in a second. Alright, this is pretty crazy. We have a colour changing tire smoke. It goes red, white, and blue. Obviously, symboling uh, patriotic uh, colours of the American flag and such. Um, so, yeah, that is one crazy tire smoke. That looks pretty awesome. Alright guys, so to celebrate the main features of this update as a whole, obviously we have the two new vehicles, we got the monster truck and the uh, the sovereign motorcycle, we got seven new apartments available for purchase, obviously the, some of them come with, uh, I, I think all of them come with garages as well, we got new clothes, new masks, obviously apologies that I couldn't show you guys um, those features, they were a bit bugged, um, we, there, are new, um, there are no new quick play actions which is a bit disappointing, um, this, uh, there's an on-call job feature which is apparently supposed to reduce the time um, that you're waiting for the job to start. Obviously we've also got the new weapons, we've got the firework um, rocket launcher, we've got the musket and um, the fireworks set themselves where you can choose um, choose many different fireworks. And it also appears that you can, um, let's check the minimap and see if this is, ah yeah, it also appears that you can ride the ferris wheel and the roller coaster down at the PSL looks pretty cool. Um, so those are the main features. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If I did miss any um, other little features that you guys wanna um, let me know in the comments below, I would be uh, really really grateful if you guys could do that. And yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are gonna be enjoying the Independence Day DLC. Thanks to Rockstar for bringing this out, and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video where I'll be uh, fully upgrading the sovereign motorcycles so stay tuned for that and i'll see you all in my next video see you later guys